This is the 2021 range of motorhomes from Knaus. We have here the live, spelt incorrectly, TI 700 MEG motorhome. And when I said it was spelt incorrectly, I might have to show you how they're spelling it. <laughs> there you go, spelt it like that, with an exclamation mark. Uh, 752 centimeters long, 232 wide, 279 high. Uh, empty weight is uh, 2,725. Oh, hang on, just a minute, look at this. Empty weight, 2,725, ready to go 2,880. Uh, so, that tells us approximately how, how much it's uh, deducted. 74,000 euros nearly. I mean, I want to put some fuel in it and get the thing cleaned up a bit. So, uh, you've got... Well, I appreciate you've got all this light. It mightn't look like you've got a lot of light because of the... Uh, uh, where we are, we're in a hall, so that does rather make it darker. This modern uh, kitchen, I noticed a number of manufacturers doing this now, this sort of, um, this is sort of the, the, the fashion for 2021. And I think that looks quite cool myself. And okay, coming up at the back, we've got this German layout. Totally pointless storage like that. When they could put a net, as they do in some other vehicles, and up there, what's the point of that? Oh, there's nothing that gets me more than wasted space. And on the subject of wasted space, if you come up here, right, you've got this ledge. Now, what might you put there? ledge at night for example you might put your phone right so i know you're possibly not supposed to sleep with your phone next year um according to certain theories but but nights don't work uh but anyway you might want if you've got your phone up there to have a charge you might want to charge your phone at night i couldn't be bothered to do that okay let's have a look down here Nice, I like the folded. They put these covers on, that's a good thing, I understand that. I've been the same in their position. I like the fact that the this is folded. That's great. Was it folded or was it separate? Sorry, it's not folded, it's separate. Separate uh separate uh cushions. I got that wrong because because of this. But at least to put a cover on it. Now uh and this here, you know, put this over there, and this goes up like that. There you can see, in, you get into your um, wardrobe like that. Good idea, good idea. So that's a positive mark. It's got a negative mark for the lack of plug, but they've now got a positive mark for that. And you come over to the other side as well. If you use it yourself, you probably take the plastic uh, cover off. And you got one there as well, okay? So that's also positive, right, good. And you've got a bit more storage for your socks and your underpants in there, or you could fill it up with cans of beer. And there you've got more hanging space. Pretty good, pretty good. Thin fridge, makes sense. Easier uh, for building with a thin fridge for uh, constructors like Naus. This comes with a soft close function. I bet it works as it always has worked actually this year. Yeah, that works. Actually, I've got to say one thing that they, they kept the weight down very well. And so that's another positive mark. But this thing here seems quite thick, which which actually that's that's a that's a good sign. I'm gonna criticize that. So you've got a lot of space there going back. Keep packets of cornflakes, um, dog food, dead pigeons, you know, plenty of space for all of that. So I've noticed these toilets though in another of their vans. It strikes me as though there's not a huge amount of space in here. And, uh, okay, sorry, I know it's coming up weekly. Where's the light? There isn't one. 
Yeah, okay. Well, there's probably a light somewhere, but uh, anyway, I'm not kidding, rather grainy, but it does strike me as there's not a lot of room in that toilet to move around. There. There's a light, I'm also there with the toilet ones, aren't there? Let's see. No. Who knows where it could be? All right, here, television. There you go, television goes on there. It's an option, the telly. Uh, though it's probably included in the quarter price for this vehicle. Got a lovely big table, that's good. And uh, this chair's here, because I couldn't think of anything else to put there. So you can see it's on a Fiat Ducato, six speed manual. And yeah, I'll, I'll tell you a bit more about it here from this. And so the uh, right starting price is this, just under sixty thousand. So it's got fourteen thousand nearly of extras. Most expensive is an engine upgrade, and it's got a live TI packet. Unfortunately, I don't know what's in that. And it's got a media packet, which I think comes from Fiat. But I think I'm not certain of that. And oh, the this wonderful light. Sorry, skylight. The uh, I think I think that's the one it's referring to. That's also extra. So okay, good. But um, it is light. It would have been better if that step weren't there. But it is. Let's go and see another one. So we'll uh, we'll walk around and see the next. That's a live T hundred Ti seven hundred Meg, and this one's a MF live Ti five ninety MF. What MF could stand for? Right, uh, this thing here, yeah, sixty one and a half thousand. But this is much shorter. It's six hundred and forty four centimeters in length. And the kickoff price there, you've got a fifty-one and a half thousand. I've got ten thousand extra of extras in it. Ah, MF means side bed. What did you think it meant? It's got a side thing here. What's the point of that? Oh, can we get there? Uh, you can also get under the thing if you want to. Uh, put some storage in from this side. There you throw it on there. Assuming the lights aren't working this van either. Step there. Fridge, wardrobe, television goes there. But it's got a stack of payload. Right. This one here is a oh live wave. Sorry, so I'm not doing the live wave. I'm doing the TI. So uh, there was another one somewhere. That's a live wave as well. Well, well, it looks like that's it for the TIs. I thought I saw a third one. It won't be somebody's driven it out. You know, you get these people in the sort of pinch things when they're here, like the, the knobs and uh, uh, other bits. Maybe someone's just driven one of the vans out. Anyway, so there you go. There's this van. Uh, this Knaus van, a TI. Hope you found that interesting. Um, and uh, you might want to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching.